Hello, good night. Let's learn the Schliemann today. Schliemann, Schliemann. Um, Sarava. Oh, okay. Tournament. We're in between tournaments. Um, let's quickly understand what's this variation. I didn't know this word, Sdaraba, but Privet, <laughs> Privet. Schliemann defense. Okay, I, I know this position. Heinish uh, Gambit. It's a sharp line in which Black plays for a kingside attack, frequently sacrificing one or two pawns. Considered by many to be somewhat dubious, it is occasionally used in top level as a surprise weapon. The most common responses for Y to F5 are D3 or Knight C3. Okay, d3 or knight c3. With play after knight c3, f takes e4, knight takes e4, going d5. Knight c3, f takes e4, knight takes e4, d5, hitting the knight, with great complications. Or 5, knight f6, which generally leads to quieter play. Okay, that's all we need to know. That's all we need to know. How was my day? My day was long, Lewis. <laughs> my day was long and I wasn't going to stream, but I was watching Aronian Giri and, you know, but the moment Aronian was on plus four, I said, okay, whatever, I'll, I'll watch the rest later. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I guess Aronian is gonna win. Um, yeah, decided to stream. Why not? Let's let's do this rapid arena. Uh, no challenges. Sorry, Olivier. So, knight c3 and d3 are the main moves, and we know after knight c3, black plays f takes e4, which makes sense. And after knight takes e4, there's d5 with complications. Or after knight takes e4, knight f6, which should be quiet. Hi, Roken. Spanish opening. Yeah, finally. Finally. Let's go there. Oh, I didn't hit the join button. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for my game. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay. Wow, there's one player who already won, won a game. I'm top seed, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I am. But I, I forgot to click the button to join, so I have to wait until some games finishes or something. 42 players for the moment. Yeah, I've been doing fine lately, so my rating is high. Let's play Ahmed. So main moves, knight c3 and d3, and the only theory we know is after knight c3 there's f takes e, knight takes, or knight f6, no that was after f takes e, so so okay, if he didn't take, what can I try? d3? Trying to mix both lines, f4 seems dubious, I think I'm gonna take the pawn now, if I take, oops, <laughs> if I take and take, queen d4 is nothing, right? 
This is a point I, I want to take because then f4 is weak. Why not? If queen d4, I just go back. What is written on the chat on the shirt? This is liches.org. This is the liches.org t-shirt with the liches logo. Um, so if I take on f4, he takes on b b2, maybe. Whoa! I'll take it. I'll take it. Not take everything. Queen takes b2. Maybe e5 instead of moving the knight. Yeah, why not? But he doesn't go there. Yeah, seems to work. My point is uh, I want to go queen h5, but I might have missed bishop g4 here. I guess queen e1 still. Yeah. Bishop g4, queen e1. And then taking the knight is gonna be with check, so... Sort of saving my material. Farufaksu, what's up? Welcome. Okay, he went for this. Um, so if he moves the knight, I have queen h5 check. If he doesn't move the knight, I take the, take it. Bishop h3, maybe is his idea. Okay. Oh, strange move. Strange move. If allowed, I want to do the check. If the rook keeps on the same line, maybe some of the idea. <laughs> Rookie one. You're drunk. Oh no, queen h5 is not a check, but it's a ping. An h7 attack. So queen h5 castles, queen takes h7. Risky. What if I just attack the bishop first? Then bishop h3, queen e2 check. Seems really dangerous. Oh, bishop h3, what am I saying? <laughs> the bishop is pinned. <laughs> okay, king d7, or c5, or king f7, or rook takes f6, allowing. Um, okay, I have to be careful with f2, but for the most part, I think I'm doing quite great. Especially now, that was blunderful. Blunderful, Ahmed. Thanks for the game. Okay, first experience with the Schliemann was okay. Was okay. But he didn't play the the only theory we know. So yeah, we'll see. I'm worried about the black side of this opening. The Wikipedia said uh, it was a dubious <laughs> defense. So I'm worried to play this as black. We'll see. Oh. I'm a little, but a little bit tired today, guys. I'm not sure if I'll be able to play the whole tournament. Anyway, we're playing against number one. And against knight c3, fe, knight takes e4, d5 is what we know. Uh, I like Twitch.
That, yeah, that, that's it. That's my answer. <laughs> I, I streamed on YouTube at some point, but yeah, in the beginning I started to stream. To stream, uh, what did I do? Oh shoot. Okay, let's talk about YouTube at any other moment. Trying to save this one. It should be seven and a half ninety five. Ninety five Queen G six. Uh oh. Sorry, I need to answer this call.
Hey, I'm back. Sorry guys, I had to attend that call and now I'm gonna lose some time. Um, not sure what did I play, but it seems I'm a pong up. I don't even know how did I do that. Uh, I now really need to blitz out my moves. Oh, that's a strange move. I'm two points up now. King is six could be nice. Let's trade. Try to win this end game. There's a check on B3. Yeah. Okay, this seems like a draw, but I'm gonna try to fight. A lot of time. Ale. Okay. Ah, uh, can't can't even remember what happened in this game. I played. Yeah, I was attending the the phone call. Ah, uh, what happened here? I did I play d four. I played d4 here and then I took there. Okay, I remember this. Yes. Yeah, and, and here I had the call. So how did I win a pawn? I'm a pawn down here. How did I win a pawn? Ah, I win the pawn on d5 here. Yeah, okay, now I remember. Okay, good. Ah, let's continue.
Uh, D3, I don't know what's D3 about. I guess I'll take it. Um, and now the theory talked about sacrificing a second pawn, so maybe that's the E5 pawn. Or what? Now let's not, let's not sacrifice anything. I don't know what's the idea of the Schliemann. I'm gonna try to give my material. Uh, this is not the real Lopez with g5, it's with, with f5, yeah, exactly. And that's why it's called the Schliemann variation. Uh, now I have a problem on f7 that I'm about to solve in a very creative way instead of going crazy with h6 or knight xc4. Yeah, it's still theory. And this was my point, <laughs> 98, the most beautiful move. Yeah, obviously I missed that one. Schliemann, Schliemann guys. Schliemann was the 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 first player in play this line, I think, or at least it was named after him. Schliemann. <laughs> Ninety two, so he might be intending f four, but I don't believe it, so let's play let's continue with my plan. I, I really need to get this bishop out. ASAP. Uh how to do it? Maybe pushing this pawn would be a good idea. Okay, now that the knight cannot go to b three, I guess the bishop is comfortable there. Um is this pawn hanging? Probably. Hard to believe that the theory goes like this, right? Now some rook comes here, yeah. I'm in. I got some issues. Can you see seven first? Because there's there's no b4 anytime soon. So my bishop is strangely safe on c5. I'm also pinning this guy, and then g6. Does the gamble command exist? Okay, so bishop e6, uh, instead of g6, I mean, the queen is actually maybe not so great there. So maybe instead of improving the queen, uh, I just go bishop e6 and then rook d8. But bishop e6, f4. Okay, let's, let's prepare for f4, f4, f5. Now, now I see a, a, a good thing about this. Another good thing is I can continue with this now. Stopping f4. Yeah, I want to stop his plans. And then, <laughs> is there an end stream command? <laughs> okay, you write down all, all the interesting commands and I will eventually add them. <laughs> or Roken will. Maybe Roken will add them. So if you look here, I might take on f2, um, but that would be a lot of things to calculate. Maybe I just continue developing or take on c4, I don't know. 
Uh, he prepares for that. Okay, so I, I'll prepare for his idea. And I castled by hand in the end. Oh. Can I trade everything? Or is it too much? Maybe it is too much. But I need to play fast. So let's play fast. Hit in the night. Let's see where the night goes. It's uh, nice that I have all the nice squares for the night under control. So knight here allows b5, knight here allows h5. Yeah, why not? Let's try to bury that knight down. And importantly enough, I have some ideas. Knight a3, I think. Maybe b4 instead of knight a3. Knight a3 seems logical, okay. I have some ideas here on the h2 square thanks to this bishop. Some checkmating ideas. Okay, I weakened. I weakened his position. Goal achieved. Where's the knight going? I have good overprotection here. Um, but I don't see the kill. Oh, 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 a5 was interesting. Okay, let's win this tempo that I thankfully have. And now c5, I mean rook d1, let's say. Maybe a4, but I don't believe it. Rook d1, c5, rook a1, king b7 in time. Or king b6. Not allowing any check. I don't believe a4. Maybe I need to calculate a4, but I don't believe it. I take. He takes. Uh, I can take with any piece, I guess. I can't even take on d2. Ah, no, because then I defense f2. Okay, he went to some square, random square, where <laughs> the rook is stupid. I mean, the rook can't go to c1 now. I don't, I don't understand rook c2. Ah, maybe he wants to keep it here, defending some, some squares. Okay, okay. And now he goes for that. Uh, I don't. I don't understand why. Why does he go now and not before? Doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, if I take with the rook, nah. Let's not calculate stupid things. I'm a pawn up. Uh, knight takes f4. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about pre-moving this. So can mods only add pleb commands? That ain't fair. Maybe. Interesting question. Should I sacrifice the g6 pawn to try to checkmate him? Or, alternatively, should I just keep everything under control? Yeah, let's keep everything under control. But if I want to play safe, maybe I shouldn't spend that many time. Okay, um, we're here, defense the g6 pawn. And I'm going to play an endgame upon up. If I can trade a couple of rooks and, and, and the queens, that should be great. <laughs> nice command. <laughs> nice command. <laughs> you were too, too fast trying to invoke the command. 
give Nightwolf a break. Nightwolf works in, in intervals of uh, like five seconds. Let's protect e5 because he wanted to push. And now maybe I defend g6. Next move. And there's no way for him to attack it with the king without blocking the rook. So, okay. The problem is my pawns are terrible. So I don't expect to, to, to save this one, for example. And I also need to play fast. So that's inconvenient. E5, maybe a move. I need to calculate the end games, but it, they seem lost for me. Although he's in Sukhswan. Ah. He's in Sukhswan. No, 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 wait. King f6. Ah, he takes on c5 here. Oh. Pfft. What a miscalculate. Oh, but he didn't do it. Uh huh. It's the same. No, the other line was more promising. Yeah, now I now I realize the other line was more promising. This is still a line, though. This is still something I can I can. What is he doing? Is he surviving there? Maybe he is. Ah, now it's slight advantage. Slight. So it's slight that it's not an advantage. Yeah, not enough to win. Triangulation, it's called. It's a draw. It's just a draw. Okay, maybe it's not a draw, but I need to play fast. I need to play it fast now. Yes. <sighs> Woo. Uh, I... <sighs> I'm showing some technique to tonight. My heart rate went a little bit up. Is Nightbot dead? Effa! Let's play Effa now. Uh, let's try Knight C3 again. Let's see if he takes on E4 and we can get that main line we read about in the Wikipedia. 
I only saw one line and <laughs> we didn't get it yet. It's f takes e4, knight takes e4. No. Okay. Never mind. No spam, please. But yeah, give me pawns. I like that. Oh, that was a blunder by me. Oh! <laughs> the sound machine I need. I mean, my 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 previous move was terrible. I just played for this trick, but of course, if he plays d5, I'm gonna probably lose some material. Um, yeah. That was dirty. That was dirty by me. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, tough opponent now, and we play black. Um, so I remember that game when I went bishop d6, and what did they do? I can't remember, but I'll do it again. I can't remember what do ah uh, bishop g no knight c knight knight there knight here ah bishop c4 was the move to prevent me from castling, and then I went queen e7 and knight e8. I'm gonna repeat that. <laughs> I'm sure that's not how you're supposed to play this position, but I played that against that 1900 and got an equal position. So why would this be different? Uh, I thought bishop c4 was quite an interesting move. Maybe he can start with knight g5 because then if I castle bishop c4 is nice. He's winning an exchange. Makes sense also. Makes sense. So knight g5, queen e7, ah, bishop g5. Okay, there's no problem then. Ah, he wants to play knight e5, I guess. So castles, yeah, let's go there, whatever. And now knight d5, I'm expecting. And you know, you never play f6, but sometimes you play g takes f6. Yeah, bishop d6 seems a terrible move, but it's trying to keep the material, and for the moment I'm keeping it. Mm. This is tempting. Queen c4 check. Yeah, again, I need to develop this bishop. That's the problem with this line, with this bishop d6 line, to develop that bishop. Okay, there. Bishop c4 checking h8. If bishop c4 check happens, ah, uh, bishop a4 maybe. Bishop c4 check, then then there's no more queen c4. Okay, 
I thought about that and I thought this could be a good move. The point is the, the queen is attacked with check, so I'm gonna try to trade on d5. And if he trades, I, I do check, and after c3 I go back to defend the e5 pawn. So I guess maybe 4 is a good move. Yeah, I did it. I did bang the spammer, broken. I'm not in pacifist mode. Yeah, I guess Lord Sakuho is, but I'm not. <laughs> Talk, but not, no action, yeah. C3 I'm expecting makes sense, I guess. Yeah, let's go back to defend the pawn. And, well, I kept the material. Maybe I play queen e7 to prepare c6. Uh, but maybe if he castles long, for example, I cannot move the c pawn. So, okay. Or maybe I am ping, that's another idea. Yeah, let's do this. It also makes sense. I'm unpinning the knight, but I'm also defending e5, so I'm releasing this bishop from that task. And if the bishop gets to move, then I might play d6, which seems a more logical development of the c8 bishop than playing b5 and bishop b7. Because in the other line, with my knight pinned on f6, b5 can be answered by bishop d5. Yeah, I wasn't sure with that. And I also have some queen g6 ideas, maybe. Maybe, in the future. For the moment, the queen is probably required to defend this pawn. So let's try my idea now. Bishop here, and d6. If before, I need to hide on a7, if I want to play d6. I think some quotes, I don't know them. I think that's a new quote for me. I, I wasn't paying attention when that quote was added. We should tell weak chess players to eat electricity to play more like engines, natural selection. <laughs> Hi, Wiz Monsters. What's up, buddy? I'm pinning, not sure why. Let's continue with our plan. Now the queen is released from defending e5, and I can go queen g6 or queen h5. I'm not sure why I did he unping because uh, maybe he's trying this and then f4, something like that. But I mean, knight g5 has no threat, so I can just, yeah, send it away. And now, for example, queen here, bishop g3. What's going on there? Uh, whenever he pushes this pawn, I mean, his idea must be this one. Um, so, if, for example, I play h6, f4 takes takes g5, should be winning for me. Risky, yes, but winning. Mm, so h6 prevents f4, seemingly. Uh, queen h5, bishop g3, g5 also prevents it in a crazy way. And then queen g6, h5 could be an idea. Too crazy, too crazy to be truth. Yeah, what should I do? Weaken my light squares. Let's do it. Ah, h6, bishop takes f6, rook takes f6. No, I stop f4 anyway. Uh, okay, should play faster probably. Yesterday someone told, someone said that uh, uh, they preferred this time control 
that they enjoyed the stream more when I do this time control. Maybe, yeah, I think I have more time to to explain things. Um, that's maybe more enjoyable. Uh, to me, I always get in time travel, no matter the time control. Hey, Jackie, what's up? Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Uh, so if he's not gonna play f4, what's he gonna do? That. Okay, rook takes to keep preventing f4. And yeah, he managed to weaken my light squares. Uh, let's keep piling up on this. Maybe he plays f3 eventually. Yeah. And now I have the bishop pair. Let's use it wisely. For the moment, I'm gonna do a random move. To bring the other rook. No obvious threat. Not sure if I want to reroute this bishop for the attack. It's gonna be hard because I would need to move either these pawns or have access to e3. For the moment let's keep it here. Maybe if I bring my queen here I can play... yeah not there, maybe here on g5 I can play some bishop e3, bishop f4. That's the only way I see to to incorporate my bishop to the attack. For the moment he's doing a decent job at stopping his king. So maybe I go just for the obvious. Okay, I always have a7, so let's go for the obvious. Idea, try to force g3. Fito just flicking through. Opening book to find this position. <laughs> no, Fito is totally... Fito tried to do that, but he's now sleeping over the book. Okay, g3, rook back to f6. And then something slow. Okay, he allows me to, to get here, and I'm really tempted to do it. Let's first do this, and if knight d3, I, I, I might have this nice choice. Okay, I go here, g3, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Not a lot to think. I'm threatening rook h2, so he has to, to go g3. Um, he has to go g3, and then I can put the rook on h3, or keep it on h5. I think I will put it... Hmm, there's knight f2. There's knight f2. Whoa! He blundered the mate! b4, a totally random move that has nothing to do with the position. I mean, rook h4, <laughs> what's the threat? <laughs> rook h4, what, what's the threat? Uh, players, they never, they, they never learn. So, I think I should do more checkmate threats tonight because it seems that they they all get um, rewarded. Yeah, let's keep let, let, let's keep doing checkmate threats, even if they're not the best move. If a twenty hundred seventy four, if a high twenty hundred can blunder that. Anyone can. There was an FM in the tournament, but he's not here anymore. Where did he go? He drew. He drew one game. He drew the third game and he's playing now against the 1700. Interesting. I thought he would be a tough opponent, but for the moment he's behind. We re up. We re up. Let's go. Winning day streak, if I win today. Uh, today I don't feel like I'm gonna win. I can tell you that. Hey, we can play the, the main line now. 
knight c3, f takes e, knight takes e4, d5. I think that's how the main line goes. Finally, we get the main line. There, there we go. And now, I don't know what's next. Maybe weary of, weary of knows. Maybe the knight goes out. Maybe knight takes e5 is an idea to follow with knight takes e6. That's interesting and dangerous. That seems like an interesting idea. D5, yeah. I think the Wikipedia, <laughs> the Wikipedia page stops here in D5. And it says it's a crazy tactical line. Um, okay, then I went back, so I guess I'm fine. Maybe I need to defend this guy. Um, or push it. If I push it... Ah! <coughs> So e4, knight e5, bishop d7, queen h5, check. g6, knight takes g6, knight f6, still not the end of the line. And after knight f6, I have the pawn on e4, there's no queen e5 check. There's queen e5 check. Okay, then, then, it, it, then it cannot work. It cannot work. d4 is also interesting. Uh... Okay, but if I defend it like this, uh, I, I lose the d5 pawn. What's going on here? Okay, let's defend both like this. Keep it safe. I'm gonna keep it safe. So it was an interesting line, e4. e4, knight e5, uh, bishop d7, queen h5, check, g6, mm, sorry, knight takes g6, knight f6, Queen e5 check, and I think white is okay. Um, I don't know if you follow me. Anyway, I played queen d6 and my opponent's still thinking. <sighs> he takes there. I thought I... Pre yeah, I removed that, but then I went back to draw some arrows. Okay, now e4, knight e4, c5 is not a move. Um, let's develop, but also preventing any things so if rookie one I can play e4 and it's a real threat thanks to the bishop that's why I start with bishop e7 instead of knight e6 d4 okay let's play e4 is that a dangerous knight on e5 probably I probably shouldn't keep the position closed, but also my king is in the center, so it's a tough balance to keep. If I open the position, it's good for my bishops, but maybe it's terrible for my king. Yeah, okay, never mind. So knight e5, knight f6, and oh, he doesn't play knight e5. That's strange. Okay, now f3 is not a move. I right hear maybe it's his idea. Uh, that was strange. I mean, I, I would have played knight e5 instead of f3. <laughs> uh, I just said that was not a move. Um, okay, the problem with d2 is knight b3, and then my pawn is funny. Uh, the problem with doing nothing is he's gonna take, and then after I take, he takes. Um, Let me try to calculate something. Queen b4 is an idea. So queen b4, knight b3. Okay, maybe it's not an idea. Queen f4 takes queen e3 check. Nothing interesting. So takes, 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 takes. I need to play something.
Okay, let's play for the crazy. Let's play for the crazy. Let's give up that pawn. I'll give it up. And and let's see let's see what crazy idea can we get out of it. I think this position is asking for craziness. I, I wanted to keep this pawn here, that's why I played e3. I didn't want to solve white's problems. I want to keep my bishops and keep this terrible structure for white. That's uh, attacking the pawn. But I'm gonna give it up. That's what I settled on. Let's bring everything. Bishop f4. No bishop f4, okay. Perdurabi, thanks for the follow, mate. Okay, I don't like what I did, but I need to stick to it. And yeah, I, eventually I'm gonna do a mate thread, a checkmate thread, and for the moment, we have a good score in that kind of positions. So queen g6 might be a move with the subtle threat to take on f3, uh, but also trying to play active. Um, you know, queen g6, bishop d6, some knight f4 eventually. I have some notifications here or not. No, I don't. Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, bishop f2, okay, queen g6 makes sense. Bishop d6 next, maybe. And the skip land is the f3 pawn. So, sort of, sort of. I have to take here to take on i3. And I don't like it. On the other hand, the bishop is terrible there. Maybe I could put it here. Yeah, let's keep the bishop. Maybe I can have a mate threat <laughs> anyway. Having a mate threat after all. But it's very, very easy to defend against. So, yeah. What's going on here? Okay, what ideas do I have? What ideas do I have? H5, H4, that's definitely one idea. And if he tries to harass my knight... Also. The rook is defended on e8, and my bishops are safe for the moment. Wow, he didn't take. That was strange. But probably good. I'm really down on time. I'm really, 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 really down on time. Time to sacrifice, guys. Not so bad, I'm regaining the exchange here. The knight is still pinned, so I'm regaining... Uh, I'm gaining material here. 
But I only have, I think, yeah, my opponent misplayed, of, of course. But I only have 36 seconds. I want to trade everything now. Let's not take that. I don't have time to take pawns. To take terrible double pawns. Well, maybe I should. I should have done it. Let's go now. Ale. What was that? Twenty one seconds. Not good. Twenty seconds. Not good either. No, he went there. What was that? He <laughs> he didn't hit my rook. That was strange. Then let's remove d4. d3. d2, d1. Good plan, right? Fifteen seconds. Should have time. Is not berserking an option? No, never. <laughs> not berserking is never an option. Almost seven seconds left. Easy. <sighs> Are all the games like this one? Time travel, technique, end game. I wanted to learn about the opening, but I'm practicing the end games. Hey, thanks for the bottles, Jackie. I think I need them. Um, yeah, number one for the moment. I, I don't believe it. Okay, let's see. Um, so, nice c3, f takes e4. Let's try. Let's see if we play the, the main line again. Is he thinking the first move or wow he didn't move on time <laughs> but i saw the countdown and it was on six or five seconds still it was very weird is there a book in liches or maybe i just maybe i just have some lag and that was in the real time great game yeah but, but only four points instead of five. No, I berserked. No. You know, if you berserk, you get only the, 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 the additional point if the game lasts more than, I can't remember, six or seven moves. And 
Sometimes it did happen to me that I checkmated my opponent so fast, especially in chess 960 when sometimes you blunder a checkmate in the first moves, that I didn't get my points. And, and I was like, oh man, I had a winning position. Had I know this, I should not mate immediately, play some random moves and then convert in a different way. Anyway, um, knight c3 was the main move. And then fe, knight takes, and d5. That's the line I, I want to train because that's the only <laughs> main line I know. And I know until that point. Um, and we didn't get it yet. We, we got it once with black. Yeah, let's go there. d5. d5 and my opponent played knight c3. And... And then I thought knight takes e5 would be an interesting approach. Let's see what my opponent does. According to Wikipedia, there's d5 and knight f6 being knight f6 the quieter, if I'm not mistaken. d5 crazy, knight f6 quiet. So after d5, Wikipedia says it's crazy, so I guess knight, knight c3 cannot be the move, as my opponent did. So... So I'm considering knight takes e5, and after d takes e4, knight takes c6. Hitting the queen, so there's no time for a6. Okay, nothing of that happened. Uh, good. Then let's castle. This is quiet also. Maybe he plays knight f6 now. Uh huh. No, he doesn't. Okay. Let's go... Let's go crush him. Let's go crush him. Bishop d7. Hmm. Interesting tactical position. I like it. Uh, I just don't see a good... A good killing blow here. Yeah, never mind. I guess bishop goes to d7 now to protect e5. Or, ha or can he play this? Oh, that's also protecting. No, it's not. No, it's not because I trade queens. So I might be winning a pawn here. I might be winning a pawn unless bishop takes a threesome move in this specific... Then I'm winning a pawn anyway. I'm winning a pawn. I'm winning a pawn. The problem with d5, Jackie, is he plays a6 and I cannot win the piece. It's a nice tactical idea, but not, not entirely winning. Okay, the knight's still pinned on c6, so h3, bishop f3, queen f3, knight takes e5, bishop d7 is check. So h3, bishop takes, queen takes, pawn takes e5. That's how he regains the pawn. Then I trade on c6 and his structure is terrible. So yeah, let's try that. I'm a pawn up. But I'm going to try to trade that one advantage I have for another advantage, which is namely simplification <laughs> and much, much better structure. Yeah, let's be... Oh, he didn't, he didn't even take. He didn't even take that. And I can go for the structure anyway. Let's do it. No, I don't mind the bishop pair. I mean... Look at his king. I can trade now e6 for c6 if he takes with pawn. If he takes with queen, I might have queen g4 check and take on g7, although that seems scary. Mm. Well, it's scary for him, actually. There's no way to, to, the, to defend that rook easily. So, yeah. Sometimes my, my positional thoughts don't allow me to, to see the clear picture. Okay, and now e6 makes a lot of sense, I think. I mean, 
boy, if, if you do that, you deserve to be killed. What is that? And he removed that, which is strange. Um, I'm gonna take it. King b7, bishop back to d4, I think. Because king b7, yeah, defending the bishop is strange. Like queen e3, yeah. No. And if he tries to trap my bishop, then I, play, I can play queen a3. Hitting c5. And threatening queen a6 check as well. So c5 is not a move. So my bishop can get out. Can it? Whoa! Now it can really get out. Actually now queen e3 is interesting. The problem is he's taking my pawn. And that is a square for the king. <sighs> Plenty of good moves here. Queen a3, rook e1, knight a5. Let's use the pieces I didn't use yet. Bishop c5 also move. You were studying HTML, Jackie. Nice. What did he move? Ah, knight f6. Okay, so now this seems uh, like an interesting move because this is a threat, more or less. He has king d8, but it's terrible. And if he tries to prevent with this, I might have bishop c5 followed by queen a7, queen a8, mate. So I like that. Promote my pawn, yeah, also that. <laughs> eventually, eventually I will try that, that plan also. Uh, okay, that defended against queen a6, of course, but uh, queen a8 mate is another threat now, besides bishop takes rook. So, this seems gorgeous. Why not queen b3? Uh, nothing wrong with queen b3. Um, he had ways to defend, but um, yeah, I, I just was looking. I was just looking for the checkmates with queen on a6 on, or on a8. That's why I put the queen on a. The moment he made me, he allowed me. Um, but yeah, nothing wrong with queen b3 either. Queen b3, threatening mate. Um, yeah, that would have been also strong. It's winning a piece at least. Knight e7. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that was a cute checkmate. Queen b3 was also very, very strong, Jackie. Good move. Um, okay, this FM is having a bad tournament. He lost to a... Oh, he lost to the 1700. Wow. To Bogoljuv. Did I play Bogoljuv? No. So this 1700 Bogoljub, maybe that's a scary one. He defeated the 2300. And then he lost to a 1700. Strange things happening. And Pre-X is playing the tournament. Pre-X ended up in second place yesterday. Uh, but he's not doing fine, I think. Where is he? Where is Pre-X? Is he in the last place? Cannot find pre-x. Okay, I'm getting my game. Let's play Basim. Basim 1963. Is he like 55 years old? That's my guess. Knight of six, what is that? Why did I take on c6? That's another question. <clears throat> okay, let's castle. Oh, maybe I can castle long. Didn't think about it. Or maybe I can just take a pawn. That also works. 
this way? No, it doesn't work that way. So pawn takes f5, maybe e4, with no threat. No, no, no. I cannot calculate, guys. I cannot calculate. Let's let's try to hint at Long Castle. Um, yeah, I might be <coughs> too tired. I'm starting to feel that I cannot calculate. Maybe I take some chocolate. I start to feel like my body doesn't want to calculate lines. That's usually not a good a, a good thing when I play chess. F4. I like to see that. I like to see positional concessions, so I can play without calculating. Hmm. So with Long Castle, I was scared of bishop b4, but now I'm no longer scared. Um, I have to take. So I have the, the knight pair versus the bishop pair. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I want to take back with a rook on g3, so to defend my knight. And didn't want to use this because I might play at some time d4. Uh, so my idea is to play g4 and after takes take with rook, then probably double rooks. Okay, that's committal. Have to be careful though because my knight's still pinned there and maybe I'm not able to defend it anymore. So g4 takes rook takes g3, queen f8 for example. I have some issues with my knight. Then rook d to g1, bishop f3, rook g7, and again, I don't like to calculate. <coughs> so, okay, let's just unpin, let's go for a different idea now. <laughs> but I'm not unpinning, not, not, not entirely. <sighs> anyway, I'm allowing takes on f3. I don't mind to have double pawns if, if the file gets opened. Maybe he goes queen d7 to take on f3, take on h3, but I will sacrifice that pawn kindly. Okay, and after knight here, still preparing this, uh, I think I'm able to move my knight from f3. Don't know where, because can I go here? Do I have time, or does he have any nice trickery with this rook? Or d4 also. Uh, with the knight still here, d4 is interesting. Doesn't quite work, so let's forget about it. Uh, <coughs> there's always a bishop if bishop takes knight intermezzo. So let's not open the position yet. Let's keep it. Maybe he plays g6 and I have to go back. I, I cannot really play f3 because I would kill my knight immediately. Okay, that's interesting. Let's go there. Knight f5 has to be played. Um, maybe now d4 is no longer an idea, which is a pity, but maybe g3 is because now. Or maybe f3 first and then g3, although I have to be careful with this. Um, yeah, now I really want to open the g line. How to do it in the best way though? g3, f3, where do I put the knight? Okay, let's do this first. <laughs> this is too slow. Is he trying this? I can see it. 
Okay, so I want to play g3 and if f3, knight g1. So he's trying to checkmate me. What a mean guy. And I'm running low on time, as per usual. Now g3. Yeah, my king is a little bit exposed, um, so the position is really dangerous. I don't want to take on d6 because that's the only piece, I mean that's the worst bishop he has for the moment. So I only take there if it's necessary to take a pawn on f4 for example, only in that case. Otherwise the bishop that really concerns me is this one pointing to these pawns here. Uh, it would concern me so much if he has a maneuver like putting the rook here or here, like maybe pushing this pawn and yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, so I need to defend a knight, and then I'm gonna collect this pawn. So it's very slow play, <laughs> but that's what I'm supposed to do, I guess. Um, Okay, the queen has to move somewhere, maybe it goes to h5. To regain the pawn. To try to regain the pawn. Not a bad idea, actually. Nope, okay. Uh, what's his idea? I don't know. Let's take the pawn, we'll think later. I'm bringing the army now to the G-line. I'm two moves away from putting a rook to defend against his attack. I don't understand that last move. It kills the... Oh! Maybe he's trying... <laughs> the idea I, I said, okay, earlier, but he, he needs more tempi to remove this bishop. Move the queen, then move the bishop. Um, yeah, this move killed the bishop immediately. And... Okay, maybe c4 is another idea to win a tempo. And then bishop c5. Okay, move the queen, so he's gonna move the bishop. And then maybe rook a6. But moving the bishop hangs this pawn. So by putting pressure to these two pawns, I'm more or less blocking his bishop. Now another way is to move the queen out and bring the rook via f8 to a8, but that hangs the h6 pawn. So we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I put the knight somewhere like this. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a strong threat now. And if h5, I can go queen g5. I mean, this is very, this is pretty safe. If that, I can take the pawn h6. Okay, one minute and 14 seconds left. I'm two pawns up and the bishop is killed. That, ca that cannot be bad. Knight g4 is still a threat. Putting pressure there. This rook is perfectly defending here. Aha, uh -huh. that's definitely trying. That's definitely trying. So let's go back. I won't even bother calculating knight g4. I just go back, hit a pawn. Um, if he goes here, queen takes e5, bishop f6, probably I shouldn't allow that, because then the bishop will be alive against my king, so I will not take this this guy. If rook a6, I will just play knight g4, or h4, h5. Hmm. Tricky, tricky question. What? What is that? Okay, let's go here, bishop h4, I have knight takes h6 and if rook h4 i have f6 trying to kill this guy he has to take with the bishop now he has to take with the queen 
And now, I don't know what to do, <laughs> so let's do a random move. Maybe I could have taken on c5. Yeah. 45 seconds left. Mm, that's quite a move. Oh, that's a blunder. I'm allowing a strong count to play here. This should be a draw now. This should be a draw. Yeah, this is a draw. Unless I'm two pawns up, so I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna give give one pawn back to try and win this endgame. He can take on c2 or on a2, but he didn't do it. That was very strange. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now I'm back to winning. I'm back to winning. That was very strange. The problem is time, of course. Let's defend a2 now. B2, B4 is hanging. No way to defend it, I think. Always check. <laughs> Hitting the rook. Don't know what to remove. Have to, oh, I'm gonna lose some time, guys. I'm gonna lose some time this one. No! I'm gonna lose on time. I mean, he has 1 minute and 17 seconds. Yeah, flagging him would be nice. Not easy though. Especially with this kind of moves. No! <laughs> that was too much, too much time for a clip, but uh, he had more than one minute and 20 seconds when I, when I had like eight or 10 seconds. <sighs> Flagmaster, yeah, I need that title. Hmm. 
Now I have a 15 point lead with half an hour left. Mm. Well, I, I was very, very skeptical about doing a good tournament to tonight because I'm too tired, but maybe I just need to pause. <laughs> maybe if I, just, if I just pause, I can win the tournament. But if I keep playing, I'm, I'm gonna start giving points to others. No, it wasn't a dirty flag. I was playing good moves. Uh, at some point I will even lose some seconds to try and, and play for the checkmate. Uh, D3, okay, let's take... I've played this today already. Okay, that's new. That's a new move. An interesting one. Can I play D5? Yeah. Maybe this is too much. D4 I wanted here. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't see an immediate loss, so let's do it. Okay, that seems logical. Let's defend F7, which also seems logical. Okay, I'm gonna take that before you know it. No, before you take on h6 of course. I'm gonna go here, defending and attacking, and I will take my time to castle. That that should be a lead in development. What? Now I'm even considering to take with the pawn. Let's do it. I mean it's... yeah. Open that line. White is doing very strange things in this game. Very strange things. Let's keep developing. What? What is that? I have c6 defended, that's one thing. Another is if he takes first I have at Swiss and Shook an intermediate move on d2. And I'm also hitting this. So if he castles, for example, I take the knight. And I'm controlling c1, so there's no problems after bishop takes, queen takes. Okay, that seems logical. What about giving up? The b7 pawn, nah. But what about rook takes bishop and then knight e4? What about queen f4? Ah, he takes on c6, what am I saying? What about knight here? Oh man, plenty of good moves. Uh, knight here, uh, yeah, I like this. I like this because queen here hangs a mate in two. <laughs> So, <laughs> always do check me threats. Your opponent might might blunder them. What is that, mate? Talking about mate. Um, yeah, that knight on h6. You're right, Rogan. That knight on h6 was really dangerous one. He had to take it. Okay, I guess I'm doing fine in this game. So if he takes my rook, I'm gonna take on f2 because that's the shortest checkmate. Queen takes d2, queen takes f2 with mate next move. I don't take the queen, so let's not pre-move bishop takes d2. I think I didn't pre-move. Okay, that's a queen. I'm gonna take it. This is still hanging, this is hanging. <laughs> okay. Um, so He's funny. He he wants he wants to be funny. Okay, let's be funny. No, no, let's be funny. Let's be funny.
You think it's it's intentional? I don't know. Why? Yeah, I don't know why would you keep playing a position like this anyway. He has seven minutes. Is he going to spend all of the time now? No, he's not. Okay. Now it's checkmate in two. Let's do it because, yeah. <laughs> we all were 1500s. Yeah, yeah, we were. Because that's the rating you are given the day, the day you sign up, right? Now, seriously, I think even a 1500 would res would usually resign when, when he's a queen down. I mean, it's not about your strength. It's about you knowing you're losing for a fact. Yeah, I think that's a picture of me. I should claim my copyright rights, my image rights. The, the thing is, I only got the main line once in the tournament and it was with black. And my opponent played knight back to c3 and I think that was a mistake. Anyway, let's try again. F Let's see. F four. F four. No, why F four? Why are you playing so fast? You already played this once or twice or whatever. I'm winning that pawn, right? on e5 and then the pawn on f4 is weak as well so bishop g4 here makes sense i will not remove this because i will take i will trade queens i can remove this then and then take on e5 with the knight i mean Okay, this is two pawns up, isn't it? I mean, I don't know the theory, but <laughs> I think my opponent um, doesn't know it either. But he played so fast, like he was confident. This happens to this happened today in one game between Giri and Aronian. They played a Ruy Lopez line where Giri blundered a trick on, on f2, bishop takes f2, then queen h4 check, regaining the piece. But he played so fast the following moves that it was clearly a preparation. It wasn't a blunder. So so for a second, my opponent was playing so fast that I my, that I thought this wasn't winning two pounds, but now his deep thought is is showing that's not the case. I think. Yeah, plus two, two pounds, and I'm already castled. I mean, if you count. All in all, everything in the position, it's not about, it's not just two pawns. It's two pawns, the center, and the development. 
On the other hand, black has the bishop pair. That's it. Okay. No longer has the bishop pair, I have to say. I'll take and I'll bring more pieces with Tempi, with Tempo. Let's go with this one because sort of expecting my other rook to go to e1 someday, maybe now. That's a good moment. Hinting at some ideas here. Maybe even e5 is an idea. If knight f6, for example, this queen is terrible here. It's in front of the king, it's blocking his own pieces, to, you know, to develop. Poof. Effa, sorry, sorry to say this, Effa, but come on, resign. I think you should resign. Now, you're not resigning, so you deserve to be killed. Is knight e5 a good move? I think it is. Knight d5, queen moves there. Yeah, let's go. Developing with tempo is not trendy anymore. Wow! He wants to give the queen. But this is check, so I get to save my bishop, buddy. Uh, why do this guy? <laughs> why do these people keep playing these positions? Uh, maybe it makes sense to keep playing, you know, for well, if King B8, I cannot remove this because of King B8. Um, I mean, I understand they can hope for a mouse leap, but, <laughs> but I mean, I think I even here, if I mouse leap and, and lose my queen, I should still be winning. Nah, if I lose my queen. If I lose it on c7, I would still be winning because then I have bishop takes rook with check. Maybe not winning. At least he hung my 18 one. Yeah, I. I I was hoping for it because today it's the day where my all my opponents hang hang mate. So so it's a good day to to try threaten those things. Hey Jackie, welcome back. Okay, let's play against Fairy Fairy Doom one three four two. Um, he's too old, right? If he was born in thirteen hundred forty two. Yes, mainline, mainline, play d5, play d5, play d5. Let's do the mainline. Oh, this guy has a victory against me. Was it today? No, it wasn't today, obviously, because I won all the games. Okay, this guy defeated me once, but it's a strange final position where I'm a rook up. So I guess he flagged me. Okay, knight f6. No, no mainline. Ah, yeah, this is the other mainline. According to Wikipedia... This is the quiet line. Yeah. What am I supposed to play here? Like this? And if 94 I take it? I mean, knight takes e4, queen takes e4. There's no d5 because of queen takes e5 check. So queen e2 is not that terrible, I guess. I'm trying to invite him to play d6, this kind of move, to transpose two positions we already played, more or less. Gregory Feck, thanks for the follow, mate. So, what can he do? Bishop v7, d6, d6 very slow, but that's what I was hoping for. Um, is d4 a move? That's a question. That's an interesting question. Now that there's no bishop before check. Is d4 a move? 
That's a question. That's a question. I think it is. Let's go. Let's be crazy. He can go bishop f5 or bishop g4. He can do something with the bishop, I guess. But no. I take on f6, then on e5. If bishop f5, I mean. He has the queen. Queen takes there. Take, I take on c6. I'm winning a pawn. And he's winning the c2 pawn in the end of the line. So he could play bishop, c, bishop f5, I think. Anyway, he went for this. That also makes some sense because I have to take here if I want to take the pawn, which is not a bad idea, I guess. Takes, takes, takes. Oh, actually, I'm not winning the pawn, right? Or am I? Let's start with this. I think this move order can be tricky. For him. I mean, tricky for me. <laughs> because I missed that after... Knight takes e5. Ah, no, bishop takes d7 is checked. No, no I'm, I'm still doing good trickery, I guess. Um. Hey, Jackie. <laughs> nice. So the 8th of October is your birthday. That's cool. Yeah, he took with the pawn. Now I have to choose. Um, so if I take here, he takes. I cannot, probably not take here because bishop takes e4. Um, so I guess I will just pin the knight here. Makes sense. And uh, I, I can have some long castle ideas as well. Trying to keep my initiative here. Worst case scenario, I can keep this structure, but to keep this structure, I, I cannot take here. That's the problem. But if I keep this structure, this pawn is going to be weak for the rest of the game. That's what I like to see. So let's say knight takes e4, I take on e7. There's nothing wrong. So I'm going to cast long. And bishop takes c6 is not entirely a threat because now that I cast long, probably I don't want for him to open the b-line. Um, I need to find something though. Bishop f6, if he takes with the bishop, I might have some nice e5 ideas. Not now because now he has the additional option of taking with the rook. So I'm running out of ideas. So let's play a normal random move. This is kind of, I have blundered this once in, in a real game, in, in an over-the-board game. I blundered Akin B1 that was like, he, my opponent was having some knight takes e4 trick and it never worked. And then I put my king here and then he had an intermediate check because of my king on b1. But I think he doesn't have anything like that here. However, knight takes e4, bishop takes e7, knight c3 check really ruins my structure. So he can't have that. Maybe I have to play king a1 there. And he goes for it. He goes for it. Good job. Good job. So maybe instead of all that, I take here and after bishop g5, the bishop on d7 is hanging. I should probably do that because bishop e7, knight c3, I don't like it. So, yeah. Let's go here. So, bishop g5, I have to choose between queen d5 check or knight takes g5. Both of them regain the piece. What is best here? Keeping the knight on f3 or going for the crazy take everything line with knight g5. Queen g5, rook d7, then f2 is hanging. <sighs> Everything's crazy in that line. Everything's opened and I have back, back rank issues maybe. Uh, but if I play queen d5 check, rook f7 defense. Oh, I didn't see rook f7. Okay, 
<laughs> I didn't see rook f7. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Let's go for the easy. Uh, queen d5 still doesn't work. Always crazy. Yeah, I don't know. When I have the advantage, I try not to be crazy. And I don't mean I have an advantage in this game. I, d I don't have it. I mean I have an advantage in the tournament. So, uh, yeah. I don't mind drawing this game. Uh, but honestly, I think there's eight minutes left and I think I'm... I'm really ahead of the second now. Yeah, I think it's mathematical. So, incredibly enough, I think I'm going to win the tournament again. For the boys. Comments. Hey, as though you are the second. <laughs> nice. Um, did we play each other? I can't remember, and I don't see how to see it. No, I think I didn't. No, I didn't play you. Let's see if we get the last game between us at least. Okay, Rook D eight. What's going on with that? So the check now he can't play. He can't play king h8. Are ah, you joined later? Okay, that makes sense. Uh, then good job getting to the second place. So if I take on c6, I, I, I win a pawn. But in this position. I don't think this position is about winning pawns. I think this position now is about my clock ticking down. I think it's about that. It's about my clock ticking down. So let's start with a check. Yeah, it's a free pawn, but I'm I'm concerned about my back rank, about opening the B-line. Like, geometrically... Risky. Geometrically risky. Still should be fine. The back rank I have it covered with my other rook. So for example, if we, if I take all of that, he trades on d7 and plays rook d8, he's not threatening mate. The fact that his king is now on h8, I think allows me to do it a little bit safely, because now he also has back rank issues. So after takes and rook d8, I might take on c7, for example. Queen takes g2 is going to be an idea at some point for him. Maybe now. Then f2 hangs. Uh, yeah, so queen takes g2, rook d1. He, ha he has to take on f2 with the queen. Yeah, this should be a draw, I think. But I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna fight it. You know what? It's not about the pawns. <laughs> let's let's make my king breathe. I'm a pawn down, yeah. No big deal. Well this might be a big deal. But now that I that my king breathes, I, I could have some moves like this. Okay. It's time to try to build some mating ideas. Is there a delay? Yes, it is a delay between the Twitch and uh, what you see. So you see my moves first in Leeches and on Twitch. Um, I think Twitch delay is 20 seconds or even more. Um, but I'm not sure if you're talking about a different delay. <laughs> um, like a chess delay, like a clock delay, which there's not. It's There's no increment. 
okay. Uh, okay, now my queen is under threat. I had no time to play rook d7, which is a pity, or rook g1. Yeah, rook g1, I never had it. And uh, now I will probably give up the c2 pawn. I need to play active. Maybe it's flagging time, actually. <laughs> Again, like, try to flag him. Uh, it would be nice not to lose all of my pawns. Yeah, maybe flag in time here, guys. Like the previous game, because if you sum up both of our clocks, it's almost the time remaining in the tournament. Three minutes left, and our clocks sum up to two minutes and a half. So we have time to end the game, to make it count. No matter who wins and how. Even if we both flag, um, but yeah, this is hard. This is tough position for me. I don't even know how to try and trick him. And focus now, guys. I'm losing. On the clock, ma mainly. Also on the position. Flagmaster, <laughs> Flagmaster again. I'm a total FM. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I won, guys. Incredible. My congrats to Asdo. Asdo Chess, second place after his late join. Yeah, and as, as usual, 100% berserk rate. I can get that one easily. But 100 win rate also, that's not as usual. And uh, wow, good, good. Um,
And I won a lot of games with Checkmate. Okay, this the first one I won material and my opponent resigned. This was Checkmate. This was Checkmate, but in an endgame. And this was the... This was the terrible... This was the terrible Checkmate. <laughs> Look at what I did here. Here I played a not so great move. I'm totally winning here. Uh, Bishop c4 totally winning. But I played this tricky, stupid move just to do this checkmate. That was dirty. Then this checkmate, uh, this was a beautiful one, but my opponent just blundered it. He didn't have to. When I played rook f4 to h4, the threat, the threat was obvious. Maybe not so obvious, my opponent didn't see it. Lot, lots of mates I, I got today. Yeah. Here, here, move. Oh, this was a nice mate also. So first I defended the pawn to keep d7 protected and then I went for this and yeah he blundered here he didn't see the threat um, and then yeah then I, I did a couple of flagging <laughs> also <laughs> anyway um, there's one thing I want to see in the analysis board about the main line, um, because we didn't get this. Let me put the main board, the big board. Okay, so we played this whole tournament with this variation: knight c6, bishop b5, and f5. And according to Wikipedia, knight c3 and d3 are main lines. And then after knight c3, there's this line with takes, takes, and d5. And we couldn't get this. I could only get this once in the tournament, and it was with the black side. And my opponent played knight c3, which I didn't think it was interesting. And I thought about knight takes e5. I wanted to have a look at this. Actually, let's see what the engine thinks in this position. Knight g3 possible, knight c3 possible, knight takes e5 best move, d takes e4, knight takes e6, queen g5, and then queen e2. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so knight takes e5 is exactly the best move, and after pawn takes, knight takes e6. The idea is you cannot take here uh, without losing the rook, and you don't have time to, to threaten the bishop because the queen is hanging. So queen g5 set the engine. Ah, hitting the bishop, okay, and the pawn. And queen e2 in reply. Defend the bishop, attacking the pawn. Let's see in the database, what do we have? We have some games here. Kansky, Karyakin, Carlsen. Interesting line. Uh, good percentages for, for white. 39% of white victories, 46% of draws, 15% black victories. Um, and the, the only move, according to the database here, is knight f6 defending e4. So I guess queen takes g2 is probably losing on the spot. Uh, there's a lot of discover attacks. So knight f6 is the defending e4. And then there's several moves here, being f4 the main one. Wow, this is too crazy. <laughs> too crazy. f4. Why? Okay, there's knight takes a7 check also. There's 95 check. And there's castles with 100% of victories for black. So, <laughs> so there's not castle. 
Okay, f4, interesting. That's the main line. Queen takes f4, obviously. And then there's 95 check or d4. I like d4. But okay, 95 check is the main move. Six only move. And wow. <laughs> And here, all the games in the database have one single move for white. This is too crazy. I know, I know what. Now I understand what the Wikipedia said about this being a crazy line. That wasn't the word. It was like a tactical, complex line. Okay, the only move for white here is d4. And e takes d3, knight takes d3 check, I guess it has to be good for white. Oh. There's only one game there. Ah, bishop took on d3. Keeping the discovered threats, okay. And it was a win for, for white. But all the games went queen h4, which is logical, g3, queen h3. I'm following the main line. Uh, bishop c4, bishop e6. It's it's pretty forced. Like at every step, you have one game with a different move, and all the other 200 games with the main move. So it's a very forced line. Probably I, can, I could study it. Bishop g5 is the main line here. One castle. And long castle only move in the database. It, it keeps going. It's only only moves. Okay, now we reach finally a point where there's plenty of different moves here in the database. Queen f1, bishop takes e6 check, knight f7, rook hf1, g4, bishop takes f6, rook df1, and a4. A lot of <laughs> different moves here. Ah, but up to this point, it's. Um, very main line according to the database very very crazy lines yeah very very interesting I, I think this position is very complex so the Schliemann is not that terrible after all but yeah knight takes e5 here was a good idea probably that's the only thing I will remember after today <laughs> anyway knight f6 is the main move according to the database here instead of d5 so the safe approach <laughs> Knight f6, the quiet. And then the main move is knight takes f6. I, uh, okay, we have in the database 475 games with knight takes f6 and 402 games with queen e2, which was my move. So my move wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Okay. d3 is, uh, is, is not a very popular move. So I'm happy to, to have played queen e2. Okay, but the main line is knight takes, queen takes, and queen e2 now. Makes sense. Bishop e7. And bishop takes e6. I was wondering if we could take here to take the pawn. And yes, according to the database, that's the popular choice. But here the popular choice is to take with the knight, not with the queen. Which would be my idea. I guess it's nothing taking with the queen. Yeah. You're, you're upon up, but position is open, black has good development and bishop pair and yeah, probably nothing. But knight takes is the most popular, bishop f5 and castle. And, and there's two main lines here, castle short, castle long. Okay, interesting positions here as well. This structure, I don't know. What does it remind of? Not sure. It can be like it can transpose to a type of a martial structure, right? You know, with black being a pawn down, but 
all that activity being able to cast along the bishop pair yeah never mind we learned we learned something I, I guess next time I have to face the Schliemann I won't be that afraid as um, usually I usually are although to be honest I don't usually play bishop b5 so it's for me hard to get this I usually play uh, bishop c4 here <laughs> so sometimes I have to, fa to face f5 here but I guess that's a different totally different thing anyway um, that was it guys I hope you enjoyed as much as I did and I hope you learned something I did I think and maybe I'm back tomorrow does anyone know what you call a tactic where you force a piece to defend check to take it like in elephant trap what is the elephant trap a tactic where you force a piece to defend check to defend against a check you force a piece to defend against a check okay before ending the stream I'm gonna look elephant trap chess to see if I understand what you mean where queen has to block okay he <laughs> he deserved the, the bang yeah I am <laughs> I think he already deserved previously, but he made an interesting chess wise question. So, hey Coibra, yes, I live in Santiago de Compostela, in Spain. Um, okay, I, I understand the trap. Yeah, let's put it on the board. D four, D five, C four. Let me see. How is it? E6, knight c3, knight f6. E6, knight c3, knight f6. Ah, it's a Cambridge sprint, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Bishop g5, knight bd7, cd, ed. So bishop g5, knight bd7, cd, ed. And there's this knight e4 trick, yeah. What's it? Uh, after knight takes d5. Ah, no, knight takes d5, and then knight takes d5. Okay, so the trap. Comes after knight takes d5. Using <laughs> using the pin, but then knight takes d5. I think I've seen this tactical idea in the Budapest as well. Sometimes. I was gonna unban him and only time out. <laughs> yeah, he deserved. And uh, okay, knight is the five. The idea is if you take after the check, you have to you you have to block with queen. It's the only legal move. Um, I don't know. If I had to put a name to this tactic, I will call it. I don't know. <laughs> Force move. You're forcing your opponent. He he only has one legal one legal move. So yeah. Anti deflection. <laughs> yeah. Extraction of the queen. Queen extraction. <laughs> forced ping is, is a is a good one. It's a forced ping actually. Yeah, I've seen this, I, I think I played once 
a terrible Budapest Gambit. Like I blundered in the opening and then I got that trick. But I can't remember, I was with playing with black. Um, how did it go wrong? I know, I know it went wrong, but I couldn't remember how. And then my opponent fell for that trick. Yeah, I can't remember. Maybe my opponent didn't enter the gambit and we played something like this. And then he pinged my knight. Something like this happened. And then I tried this, maybe. This was a long time ago. It was a blitz tournament. Was it like that? Something like this. I can't remember if this was the position, but it was something like this. And I had this, this 94 idea. Hanging my queen, so very similar to, to what we just saw. There are no games in this position. I don't know why am I even watching the database. <laughs> and I guess this is still playable, right? For both sides. And then... I know I did something wrong at some... Ah, now I remember. I think it was this, yeah. And then I, I thought I, I was winning here. Or at least at least winning back my material because I'm hitting the queen, and if he takes, I, I have this tactic which we don't have a name for. But I blundered a3, I think. But it wasn't like this. No, then I blundered something else. Then I uh -huh. maybe this was in this wasn't even the position, maybe. Yeah, I can't remember. I definitely blundered something and it might have been this. But in the end, I won the game. But yeah, it was <laughs> a very similar tactic that totally backfired and then somehow worked, but not with best play by my opponent. Anyway, um, now, why not bishop f2? Yeah, I, I don't know if this was even the position. You mean like here? Ah, yeah, here there's bishop f2. So, yeah, this probably wasn't the position. Maybe the bishop was still on f8. I was trying to make the position up. But... Uh, ah, maybe he played bishop g5 immediately instead of d5. No, that doesn't make sense anyway. Yeah, Rui, really, you, are, you are right. I mean, in that specific position, there's bishop f2 mate. So, so that wasn't it, for sure. <laughs> that wasn't the position. So maybe it was like this. Maybe it was like this. I, I can't remember. It was a long time ago. What I know is it didn't work. Because at this point, he had queen b3 or something. I, I can't remember. Anyway, that bishop f2 line reminds me of a tactic I sometimes get against the Scandinavian. Is it against the Scandinavian? Yes, it is. Where some opponents fall for this. A trick you need to remember. If, if you don't know it, it's a very common one, so you probably know it already. Uh, it's my turn. Okay, could be a different move order. And here the trick, very well-known trick, is bishop takes f7, and then knight e5 regaining the piece. But knight e5 is much, much better. Because this way, instead of taking a pawn, you take a full piece. And yeah, it, <laughs> bishop takes f2 reminded me of this, because bishop takes f7 is a mate threat. And yeah. You're threatening both mate and and peace, so yeah. And bishop h5, 
you have Quintex H5. Uh, yeah, okay, anyway. Uh, stream, stream is over, guys. Um, this, yeah, today we were mounting stuff in the school and tomorrow I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna stream tomorrow. Probably not. Probably not, but I cannot promise because I'm, I'm saying this every day. Like, I will not stream tomorrow. I probably will not stream tomorrow. I think I'm always streaming, so you never know. But if I'm not streaming tomorrow, I will be on the weekend for sure. So, see you guys. Bye bye. Do you want to say goodbye? Come here. Come say goodbye. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>